Okay. So everybody hold up your hands like this. Okay, show me parallel lines. Okay, show me perpendicular. So perpendicular cross, but how do they specifically cross? Right. They cross at 90 degree angles. So everybody write down perpendicular lines. Cross at 90 degree angles. <clears throat> okay. Let's say that I had a slope that I was drawing you. You guys don't have to draw this slope, just watch. Where it is up to over three. So positive two thirds. So for a prize, and only if you raise your hand, and I'm gonna let you think about it first. This slope is positive two thirds. Can anybody think of what a, the slope of a perpendicular to that line would be? Oh, no, we're raising our hands. So let people think. What do you think a slope would be? Okay, one. Two, you still want to? Okay. Two. What do you think, Tristan? Uh, negative three and two. Okay, let's try that. So, let's see, let's start right here. And you said negative yeah. three over two. So, going down three over two, down three over two. What do you think? Let's see. Does it look perpendicular? Straight left and right, straight up and down? Yeah, yeah. nice job. How did, did you know that? Just something you figured out? Yeah. Okay. What made you, what gave you an idea about how to do that? Because it has to be negative or else it won't cross. Right, one's positive, one's negative, that makes sense. And then um, it has to, like a two-thirds one-quarter because it would be um, kind of like this instead, yeah. yeah? And then just switch them out. So you're saying it almost like the, the two-thirds and the three-halves almost cancel each other out. They're like exact opposites. Does anybody know what that's called when you flip a fraction upside down? You can just say it out loud. Reciprocal. A reciprocal. Anybody know what it's called when you change something from positive to negative or negative to positive? That's the word opposite. So this is called an opposite reciprocal. So we're going to write perpendicular slopes. Are opposite. And for write by opposite, I'm going to write plus minus. So if something's positive, it turns to negative. If something's negative, it turns to a positive. Reciprocals. And what does the reciprocal part do? Flip, Flip it. OK. Nice job. Tristan, you should go get a prize. Do you want me to get out animals or are you good? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right. Example one. Write the equation of a line. Perpendicular.
to y equals negative 3 halves x plus 6. That goes through. one negative two. Okay, now yesterday our first step with this stuff was that parallel lines have the same slope, so we just copied the slope over. So what do you think our first step is today? Slope? We're definitely going to talk about slope, but we need it be it. It needs to be like a specific slope about perpendicular lines. The right. So basically, take the slope, do the opposite reciprocal, to get your new slope. So get the new slope by taking. The opposite reciprocal. Oh. Do Perpendicular lines have the same y-intercept? Mm -hmm. That's an interesting question. I got some nods and some no's. Cameron, why do you think no? That's a great point. It kind of depends on where I draw the axis, isn't it? Because if I... Exactly. So what, what Mace... Macy said was that, yes, they do, and if I drew the axes right here, they would, right? Mm -hmm. They would cross in the exact same spot, but if I drew it here, then they wouldn't. So you can't assume that they have the y same y-intercept because they aren't necessarily going to. They could, but they're not necessarily going to. So when you write this, you're going to write y equals. <coughs> What's the opposite reciprocal of negative 3 halves? positive two-thirds, x plus b. So again, don't copy down the y-intercept, write plus b. Next step. Mm -hmm. Plug in the point for x and y and solve for b.